woke up a few hours ago and I've still got this headache and it's killing me just gonna get some painkillers I don't know why this headache is coming constantly so today I'm off I'm off work for today so I just got a few things to do I need to make some phone calls I want to book my ticket for next year summer uh, for my wedding but because I'm gonna have a baby I don't know and the tickets are quite cheap so I just want to book the tickets today but I don't know what to do should I just book the ticket can I add you know a ticket for my baby later I just I just don't know so I have to call British Airways and also today I just I'm just gonna I don't have much cleaning to do of the house so I'm just gonna tie it up a little bit also I got to I need to get some water some drinking water and then just uh, I have to drop off so I have to go to the post office but in general that's it I'm just gonna try and rest today because I really need it I've been working for so many for too long just long hours so that's probably the reason why I'm feeling like a bit like trained today you know so I'm just gonna start with my um, you know uh, skincare routine which is it's not much really because I'm still um, I've just started getting into this skincare you know learning a few more things and because I'm pregnant I can't really put much on my face because there's some ingredients that you know you're not allowed to have on your face while pregnant have some breakfast tie it up a little bit and then go out and do what I have to do so keep on watching so I finished just brushed my teeth so I'm just washing my face before using a creamy cleanser for the morning this one I bought from TK Maxx a few months ago I'm still using it I used to use this Neutrogena Clear and Defend facial wash but I've just realized it has um, this salicylic how do they call it salicylic acid which is not good while you're pregnant so I stopped I had to stop using it because now with my pregnancy I get to well I, I used to get some break, breakouts I don't get them as much anymore but you can see some I see have some scars from past breakouts I don't know how to get rid of them I got this microfiber clothes from Amazon and then I remove the cleanser and it actually helps remove everything and I just wiping everything off with a clean towel I'm actually very hungry I can't wait to finish with all this and get myself some breakfast the next thing I put on my face is this serum facial serum with vitamin C and um, it has this other acid which is safe for pregnancy hyaluronic acid I'm not sure if I you know said it properly but I think that's that's how you say it. so this this specific one is from Amazon read some reviews on it and I was quite happy with the reviews so I thought okay let me try it and to be honest since I started using it I don't have any more breakouts but when 
when I finish with all these products that I have now, I would like to invest in ordinary skincare products because there's so many, many good reviews on it. I just put some in my palm. I try not to, to let this, this stick touch my hand or my face because I don't want it to, I don't want any germs going on it. Seriously, I have to do my eyebrows. Look at this. Anyway, so, so I'm applying this all over my face. They say it's good to use your hand with upward motions it helps the skin stay young apparently i don't know that's what i do anyway well that's what i've heard and that's what i do now because you know i never knew i'm trying to apply it on my neck as well do not ignore your neck because your neck that's when the first signs of you know old age start to appear and then apply some some eye cream i know they say eye creams are a waste of money that's the super drug vitamin e apply like this and then i just used I just use a um, SPF. I'm using this Garnier. I have this Garnier. When I finish with this, I want to invest in a different kind of SPF because this is quite heavy on my skin. And I feel it's a bit too oily for my skin. So I, I never ignore. Putting sunscreen on, even in this shitty weather, I will always wear my sunscreen and protect myself from the sun. That's all I do for my skin in the morning. I know maybe it's not the right skincare for. You know, I know if a dermatologist is watching me, my, they might be saying, what the hell are you doing? I don't know. That's what I know at the moment. That's what, that's what works for me at the moment. This is what I can afford at the moment. So, yeah, this is what I'm using. And I'm not showing it to you for you to learn something or for you to start using it. I'm just showing what I'm using. That's my own personal experience anyway so mostly if i'm at home i will not wear anything on my face but when i'm at when i go to work i wear this i put on this bb cream it's from what's the brand collection i guess it's quite cheap quite affordable i got it from super drug and it's anti-blemish BB cream which is very good for me for my skin because I don't want to get no more breakouts and I don't so so I put this on my face and I actually like how it looks like and I actually like it it's not heavy on my skin I used to wear, I think, I used to put on a Garnier BB cream. It was quite heavy on my skin. I like something light. I don't like wearing too much makeup. So I always try for, to go for a light, a light look. Put on my eyelid, on my under my eyes and then after this it's quite simple what I do 
because I like to sleep in the morning and I don't have time for any makeup so that's all I can afford to do the next thing I'm using is from Revolution Matte Base Concealer that's that's from Super Drug as well so I put some on my where my breakouts are just cover them and then under my eye my eyelid yeah I'm gonna blend this chill when I first bought this product I didn't really like it I thought it was you know some concealers this how do you say it comes out it kind of fades so you have small particles underneath your eye or on the you know where your creases of your eye they don't blend well so I thought this is that was the case with this concealer as well but I actually like it now and it's quite cheap as well it's quite affordable so for my for my cheap people this is what I we this is what I recommend using that's it for my skincare routine in the morning it's quite simple it looks quite clean I kind of like it, it works for me, so yes.